it's beautiful nice piping everything is in place Y'all see where we at, man. Back at Will's spot. Y'all already know what that means. We finna do some type of install. Something finna get done. Welcome back to the channel, gang. It's your boy Six, man. Just another day, man. Just another day. Just another day of living, man. Hopefully today we finna get the charge pipe installed. Depending on if my man Will let me use the jack. You know, he don't like me using his time a lot. So hopefully he let me grab the jack. If I can get the, the car up, you know what I'm saying? Get under to the belly pan. Get that charge pipe out. But... With my F30, I've been having a startup issue. I'm gonna show y'all what it is. Hopefully it'll do it. But well, there's the charge pipe. We should install that today, but I had to get a new battery. I was having a startup issue. I wasn't sure what it was coming from, gang. I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm not sure if it's the battery. I'm not sure if I need a new starter, a new alternator. I'm not sure if I fucked up the timing chain. But you know, that's the problem with this car. But that's not it. It was the battery. I got the battery tested. The battery I have now, I got it tested. And it's damn near dead. It's basically dead. So, I went and caught new battery. Bro, these things are so fucking heavy, but I did not know they were this heavy. Oh, God. Let me show y'all the startup issue I'm talking about. See? See if the F30 does it this time. See if it wants to do it this time. I'll hit the ignition, and the car just won't start. Let's see if it does it. Oh, wow. It just started. <laughs> Normally it does not do that. Hold on, let's see if it'll do it again. Turn the ignition on, hit the button. See? Y'all see that? And then it'll give me uh it'll give me a drive, it'll give me a drivetrain malfunction. This is this is what the car's been doing. Drivetrain malfunction, drive moderately, it won't start. Drive chain, start carefully. And then the second time, the second time it'll start. So that's what it's been doing, guys. Look at this beat. Hey, get, get out, get out of here. If anybody with F30 on, on the YouTube platform, anybody, if y'all see this video, y'all ever have had this problem, it could very much just be your battery is going out. And my battery is dead. It's been driven 55, 54,000 miles on it, no replacement. So I had to go cop a new one. Easy. New turbo put back in the uh, 435. But he done messed up the diverter valve. Ah. Well, say what's up to the channel. What up, what up? Beautiful Saturday. It's nice and cool out. It's getting cold out in the A, man. F30 looking beautiful. But yeah, gang, let's get it. The new battery's in. It's mounted in correctly. So this should be working now. We're just going to code it. And hopefully the F30 will start up perfectly. Let's check out the startup. Y'all saw how that just started up. Yo, my car has not started that well in months. I kid you not, months. Oh my gosh. I, I thought I had ruined my timing chain. I thought I might need a new starter. I thought I might need, might need a new alternator. But the whole time, it was just the battery. Let's go, gang, let's go. Woo! Ah, when you fix something on your car, it's such a great feeling. When you know you was looking at possibly an issue that could have cost you thousands, and you just dropped 200 and fixed the issue, easy feeling. Now, now that we got that out the way, hopefully we can install this charge pipe. All right, gang, about to install the charge pipe. So, first thing I'm gonna do is unplug this T-map sensor right here. Take this wire, take this out. I'll go ahead and do that now. Um, pop out this T-map sensor. If I can get the T-map sensor. That's the C clamp, right? Yeah. There's another sensor on the bottom. That's 
C clamp. Now it's off the throttle body, as y'all can see. It just popped off the throttle body once you take off the C clamp and get that that sensor out. Alrighty. See those ridges? Mm -hmm. They got ridges on the other side. The pinch, pinch it together and pull up. See how I got it right here? If you pinch them, they come apart and it just pops back in. Let me try to take that vacuum line off the bottom. All right, so I went underneath through the belly pan. Let me show you guys. Came down here. This is dripping, it's dripping oil, but this is where the charge pipe connects. There's a black plastic clip. This plastic clip holds this C clap in place. Once you remove that, I just use the screwdriver, kind of push it off. And then once you do that, you'll be able to just push the charge pipe off the intercooler. It's leaking oil, but that's that's fine. <sighs> Finally. The old charge pipe, man, stock charge pipe, man, Golly. finally we got it out, Jesus, this hose is not no hole, that shit took forever, alright, so, gotta transfer over the O-rings, transfer over the O-rings from both sides, yeah, it's right there, there's one right here, I see this one, this little clip right here mm -hmm. that's got to go in there last so you got to push this on if it ain't if it don't look like this all these meeting these is not going you're going to get a boost list. what do you mean all right y'all so we had a big struggle with getting the charge pipe to attach it in the cooler all the way so you had to take the whole in the cooler out Finally, gang, we finished up, man. As y'all can see, it's already dark out. Took a couple hours to install this charge pipe, and I'm gonna explain why. <laughs> I'm gonna explain everything that made it take so long. Everything is nice and sealed up, tight. I don't have no boost leaks or nothing. Everything's running well, right? Let me tell you guys the main issue that we had when we were installing this and why it took so much longer. The bottom portion of the charge pipe that connects to the intercooler we could not get it to sit on onto the intercooler properly to where it would be no leaks. We literally couldn't get it to sit on there. It wasn't fitting. I think it's because the VRSF charge pipe, and here, let me turn the car off so y'all can hear me a little bit better. The VRSF charge pipe is like an inch shorter. It's like an inch shorter than the stock one is. It's very hard to attach the charge pipe to the intercooler and get it to attach to the throttle body properly to where you're not gonna have any leaks. Like, it was almost impossible. So the reason what we had to do was we had to take out the whole intercooler. So we pulled the intercooler out from the bottom, took it all the way out. We attached the bottom of the charge pipe to the intercooler while it was out of the engine. And then we put it back under. We, we were able to slide it under and slide the intercooler pipe, I mean the charge pipe up through, back up through the engine, which was also a very hard task to do. We were able to slide it back up through and we were, we were good like that. Now, since we took the intercooler out, we had to remove both of the boost pipes. So there's a boost pipe on this side as well that's attached to the intercooler. We had to remove that as well. And getting that clip off and back on and everything on and everything settling, like everything fitting perfectly flush with no leaks, that was a pain in the ass, gang. I ain't gonna lie. That was a pain. But once we were able to get the intercooler back up in and have that, the bottom portion of the charge pipe attached, all the hard work was out the way. Once we were able to do that, you know, everything was pretty much smooth sailing. Um, another thing I would say is very hard and was a big issue was on the charge pipe on the bottom side with the N20 engine, there's a, a hose, I think it's a boost pressure hose, something like that. That was so freaking hard to get off. <laughs> Literally took us like an hour to, just to get that hose off. And that was before we even got the old charge pipe off. So those were the things that made this install take a little bit longer. But now that we got the charge pipe in, It's beautiful, 
nice piping everything is in place we don't have to worry about any cracks of the any cracks of the charge pipe once i go stage one here shortly so as y'all know we wanted to get the charge pipe before we went stage one and we got it gang so charge pipe is installed i'm kind of upset because vrsf did not send me a decal what's up with that vrsf we're gonna have to talk about that we're really gonna have to chat because that that's that's fucked up that's 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 wrong. Engine gave me one. Bilstein gave me one. HNR gave me one. But VRSF doesn't. Another thing we fixed today, we fixed my startup issue. So the F30 starts up perfectly fine every single time and beautifully. We don't have that issue any longer. Now I will say, with the charge pipe installed, you're not going to feel much of a difference at all. <laughs> like you you can't tell the difference with the charge pipe. All the charge pipe is it's just a precautionary measure. You you're just doing it to prevent the oem ones from cracking when you tune it doesn't really help anything i mean yeah they say it gives you a little bit of turbo lag de decrease in turbo lag a little bit you know a little bit more thought of response which i could see being somewhat true but honestly is that it barely makes it i don't feel a difference honestly next up plans i think i'm gonna get i possibly might get a strut bar to put in the engine I might get these lci tail lights and i might purchase the wrap next so i'm not i'm not really sure what's coming next gang but y'all i'm gonna let y'all know y'all gonna see it might it might just be a surprise we've got our second bolt on in we're on the way to being fbo the f30 is on the way to being wrapped it's on the way to being stage one i might get the muffler leak soon we're gonna be popping and crackling y'all already know the vibes it's your boy six if you're new to the channel subscribe as y'all can see the f30 is finna go crazy one of the hardest f30s in the a and i'm bringing all this content man i'm, I'm spending all this breach for y'all so y'all can see this content if any of y'all got f30s i want y'all to do this stuff i want y'all to see the mistakes that i make see little tips that i'm giving y'all things that happen with mine so y'all can you know use that when y'all doing things on your car i appreciate y'all for tapping in it's your boy six i'll catch y'all in the next video let's get it